and here's what we're replacing. It's about 11 years old. It's a Kenmore model with a freezer drawer at the bottom. It also has a water dispenser in the interior, and it has an ice maker at the bottom. Uh, and the ice maker has been broken for quite some time, and uh, we tried to have it repaired more than once, so that part wasn't reliable. But the water dispenser worked fairly well. Uh, it just seems to run through filters pretty quickly. Maybe we just drink a lot of water here. Overall, it was a good purchase, and we got a lot of life out of it, out of it but uh, it's time to move on. And here's the new model, which is a Samsung with an ice and water dispenser at the front. You'll note everything is stainless steel, and it has two drawers at the bottom. The upper drawer is uh, essentially a snack drawer where you can keep refrigerated items, but they're at a nice level for kids. And the bottom drawer is, of course, the freezer drawer. And more on the whole thing in a moment. Important details are on a barcode at the lower right front of the fridge. This is model number RF4267HARS. This model is fairly clean. Uh, you'll note that the ice and water lines both go into a nice little uh, bracket here. On our last fridge, this was all covered over by messy looking rubber putty. The lines run down to this little housing, which has a connection to our existing copper water line. And there's a service panel for the electrical. But otherwise, you know, the back is fairly neat and clean. And look, there are vents for the refrigeration components in the back. Not yet covered with any dust, as it has no use, although it's been on for a little while. Pretty clean from the back. Around the front, now that we've pushed the refrigerator into the cabinet opening, we'll remove the checklist that comes with it. And I've already removed some of the plastic film that comes on top of the water and ice dispenser. There's a yellow tab here. The function key will operate after you remove your finger from the letters except E, saver, ice, and water key. Very good. I'll figure out what that means later. The unit comes with some nice uh, stainless steel handles that the delivery men actually installed for us. There's a little Allen wrench that helps with that installation. And you can see there are helpful this face uh, side up stickers to indicate what direction you should screw the handles on. There's the subtle Samsung Sung logo in the upper right corner. And we'll test out some of the water and ice features in a moment. The refrigerator is still not quite cold enough for ice, so we'll let that run for a bit. But let's check out the interior. This unit is pretty spacious. You can see here there's a lot of room on the door for ice. It comes from this dispenser here inside the main unit. Good size shelving for large items. including a couple of drawers for fruits and vegetables. Your energy saver guide and some plastic. Some styrofoam. And to keep, ooh, that's a good noise. And to keep everything uh, all stable and solid in shipping. I'll pull that out in a second. Important details inside. The number to call if you have a problem. Freestanding installation only. That's good, that's what we've got. And then we have some indicators for what we would store in the upper drawer. Let's pull that open now. It's not quite cool yet. And I'll remove some more of that packing material in a moment. As you can see, there are dividers that slide to accommodate however you'd like to organize. Some pictures I've seen indicate that people put cans of soda along one side you know, maybe you'd have something else, pudding cups, whatever, and you'd want to move those around in whatever way you like. And then, below, nice big freezer. You, know, you can go excavating at a very, very deep level. Stuff you put down here you'll probably never find again. This is a very convenient feature, right near the front and the top is a, a small shelf. Maybe that's where you'd put uh, your ice pops or something like that. 
and then there's another nice drawer right above, probably for the items that you would access more frequently. Or I could see you putting the stuff here that you access less frequently and just leaving that tucked in and going into this drawer for most things. Really capacious, you know. What I really like about this design is it seems like all of the drawers are sealed up well enough that if you have you know, any sort of bag that has some crumbs that, that come out of it for some reason, you're not going to get a lot or possibly any of that debris inside the main uh, part of the, uh, the refrigerator cabinet. You know, and you won't have to remove everything and clean stuff out. You can just remove the drawers. Nice clean look. Closes very smoothly. You know, this will probably close more smoothly after I move some of the styrofoam. Back up to the top for a second. Note, the doors all have these gallon jug sized uh, shelves, which are great if you have a lot of gallon size. This is just on the right side. Gallon size containers. We typically don't, but we'll put something else there. Another thing I'll note is that this fridge doesn't come with a lot of extra stuff that you need to do in the interior before you start to use it. So no shelf assembly or anything like that. Just some pieces of film, uh, actually in some pretty good spots, like uh, along the metal trim inside, which is a really nice detail you know, that you should pull off. I know that removes the protection from the trim, but you know, the film is just there for shipping purposes. Oh man, once it's, once it's out of there, it really does look nice and shiny. Back on the outside for a moment. Let's try getting some water out. What I really want to do at this point is get water in the line to fill it up. Once there's water inside the fridge, we can start to make ice also. That's going to take a minute. There we go. All right. So we've got some water coming in. Good pressure for filling up a glass. It'll take a minute to do, you know, a relatively large sized picture pitcher. Uh, what I saw in the instructions is they really recommend that you let two to three gallons worth of water run through the dispenser just to make sure that everything is clean and also to make sure that it's filled up and up filled up enough to start making some ice. Alright, so we'll prove we've gotten water. I'll run it for a couple more minutes. And so we'll wrap up with a couple final thoughts around uh, the whole appliance. Back to the dispenser, uh, note that it takes about 24 hours for it to cool down enough to uh, dispense ice. Uh, I'm trying to get the whole unit to cool down a little faster by invoking the power freeze mode here and power cool mode here. You do that basically by holding down each of these buttons for three seconds. One, two, three, and it should come up. All right power freeze, power cool. Uh, and then once they reach the desired temperature, which you set, you know, either with the freezer button or the fridge button, it will, um, it'll be ready to go at that, that right temperature and it'll turn off the power freeze and power cool modes. Um, so there's a little drip tray here. You know, if you have a little bit of a mess made, which I did, uh, about the door, note that it's the French door. So there is a divider here that swings back and forth when you open and close. And if you have it lined up properly, it will slot in and then change its orientation by 90 degrees to offer a good seal. If you, for some reason, accidentally leave it open like that, the fridge won't close. So watch out for that. The other thing that I saw is if you close the door very aggressively, the other side will pop open a little bit, but not too much. I might not be pushing it quite hard enough. And certainly you can open either side without having to open both sides all at once. Uh, here's the ice maker, which we can't delve into too deep, deeply because there's, there's not a lot of ice at the moment. You can see you have to open the door 
pretty much all the way. It locks at a certain angle. Open the door all the way, and you can pull the ice unit out. You see there's an auger, there's a motor behind that. So as this unit drops ice, that's what pushes the ice out of a dispenser underneath the unit and then that just drops into a slot in the door handle. Okay. Uh, again we have nice accents on the interior. This was a clever feature I thought for uh, those cases in which you need to put a very tall item somewhere in the fridge. Let me see if I can remember how to use this. Ah oh, yes, you can see that you lift this part up and you just slide it right back and that gives you a lot of vertical space right there. Certainly these are also removable shelves. They've got a nice spacing guide right here that keeps everything square and lined up. Um, I'm not going to pull this out, but this is where the filter gets replaced for the water dispenser. It's in a lock mode right now. You can see that lock pointing up. Humidity controls. Set that for low. Set that for high and hope for the best. Um, and then down to the, and it is starting to get really cool in here, which is very good. I'm going to close these up so it can keep going. One more time down to the flex drawer here. You have some options. Uh, these get progressively colder from wine party dishes, deli snacks, cold drinks to meat and fish depending on what you plan to keep in there and this just toggles to each mode. I didn't look that closely in the reference guide yet to see uh, what those different modes are but you know they're, they should be intuitive enough we hope. And then another thing to note about this bottom drawer is that to unlock it you pull up and you can see these little slots that line up in order to help keep the door closed and aligned properly. So we'll try it out for a while. It looks pretty good. I think we'll be happy. There's certainly a lot of other stuff to look at. There's a very substantial refrigerator user manual and also what I thought was a very interesting touch inside this manual is a set of uh, troubleshooting tips it came with the fridge attached to some QR codes so for common problems can't make ice or dispense ice you could scan with your smartphone some of these QR codes and you can be uh, referred to some videos that show you how to handle these problems so very interesting I note that there are models of this fridge that have some sort of network component I don't actually have that and I think we will probably live without it because we have so much else around the house that's networked. So that's it for my unboxing of this Samsung French door style refrigerator with a flex drawer and bottom mount freezer, uh, water dispenser, ice dispenser, and thanks for watching.